negative, trace, small, moderate, so what do you guys think down in the comment section? Ooh, my breath is kicking. Next, let's see what we weigh. Weight, BMI, body fat percentage, muscle, water, and bone. Front, side, back, side, and front. I just got the shower and I just want to show you guys how many hours I have been fasting. And my fasting time is at 12 p.m. today. I am going to get ready for work and I will talk to you in a little bit. So what I'm doing right now is just squeezing a half a lemon into my green tea. So I'm gonna add a teaspoon ginger, followed by a dash, which is one eighth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I'm going to do a one eighth teaspoon of cinnamon. And this is the last tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. This is my morning goodness. Make sure you drink this drink with a straw. If you take any kind of medication, do not drink this drink until it is at least an hour to an hour 15 minutes after you have taken your prescribed medication or supplements or whatever you're taking because the apple cider vinegar may interfere with the breakdown of your prescribed medication. My goal is only to drink 64 ounces of water. Now let's get started with preparing my meals for today. I have my four eggs in here. I'm going to add a dash of the no sauce. You guys, I do have high blood pressure, so I don't add a lot of the pink Himalayan salt. Extra salt like people recommend. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Next time I'm going to add a teaspoon of cinnamon. I have some coconut cream here. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of coconut cream. Next I'm gonna add two tablespoons of coconut oil. You see that guys? It scared me when I first cooked this because you see how, how much is rising out of this waffle maker. You have to make sure too not to turn it when you make it out of habit. It's liquid. It's going to run everywhere. You're going to have a mess. Don't worry. It's not going to spill out on the side. So you guys are okay. So you guys see once you open it up how small it decreases in size. So I'm just going to plate it. Bring it down again. Five o'clock. Going like a soldier. Like an energizing bunny pushing through. But let's get this meal down. Hey guys, I made it home from work. I have been craving one of these. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and when I get out the shower, I'm going to drink it. Day three went great. I ended up eating two of the Belgian waffles. So that was a total of four eggs. 
I also had two scrambled eggs as well. And those, I did pack an egg for a snack that I did not eat. I didn't know if I was gonna do a three day, a five day or a seven day. After completing day number three, I feel good. I will continue on for two more days. If I do it to Sunday, that will be seven days of me doing the egg fast. I did start my fast at seven. It was like 7.23 p.m. tonight. So I won't eat tomorrow. It'll be after 12 o'clock, but the exact time, I'm not quite sure. I feel energized. I was able to wake up this morning at 5.15 in the morning without an, an alarm clock. I haven't woke up at 5.15 in so long. I was energized. I just feel like I'm focused. I'm motivated. I'm ready to be on this keto journey. It actually feels good. I'm determined to see my abs. I'm looking forward to seeing my abs. I really don't have any complaints at all. I don't have any headaches. I don't crave any, I'm not a sugary person anyways, but it's nothing that I'm craving that I cannot eat. I'm staying full, I'm staying just mental clarity, just focus, energy level is up, live light, travel light, spread the light, be the light. Until the next time, bye guys.